128 bustling. Red light appearing on top of the starting gates. Off they go. And at the first of them to leave Battle Commander, bustling away quickly. Up there as well soon after, Blue Rocket will be prominent, settling into stride. Golden Kathleen also handy to the speed early, but Battle Commander will settle down in front of the raging favourite, Bustling, who's fired up there on his outside. In behind them, travelling third, Golden Kathleen, a muddling speed, Blue Rocket fourth. One and a half away then came Chest Out Swagger, who's midfield outside of Tactics. In behind those, next of all, is Big Big Shots is in the back half of the field, followed by Snippy Sean, and last is Battle on Battler. 700 left to go, Battle Commander. It led the way in the size produce, three quarters of a length in front. Running second is Bustling, a length and a half, Golden Kathleen. She's got nowhere to move at the moment, keeping a hemmed away. Blue Rocket up running fourth. They're being followed further back behind them. Chest out, Swagger. Fifth with about 450 to go. Tactics is over on the inside next of all, then Big Shot, Snippy Sean, and last is battle on battler at the top of the home straight brad parnham gave the favorite its head bustling burst to the lead bustling set sail for the judge kick two and a half in front from the philly golden kathleen it's bustling though down inside the last 120 and all home a winner in the size produce he's dominating them and the star youngster goes on to win the size in a canter bustling from golden kathleen third big shots battle commander battled away in fourth spot followed by tactics then chest out swagger Blue Rocket couldn't come on. It was the first to buckle, beating only a couple home. Snippy Sean and Battle on Battler. Bustling. Brad Parnham. The favourite, far too good. And we wait on the time to come here for the 1400. But that's now four from five. Number one, Bustling. Danny Morton has done it back to back winning the Karakata and the size. Super Smink 12 months ago and bustling today in 123.44. Two and a half lengths and a length and a half. It was always going to be about the margin after heads had turned for home. He settled up there breezing outside Battle Commander, dispensed with it very quickly, dashed away from them and then opened up Golden Kathleen. She got into open space simply not good enough beaten by a star an emerging star in our juvenile ranks and one who certainly got plenty of people talking about him as to whether he'll remain in wa or be bound possibly onto the international racing scene bustling by frosted from busy miss owned by oakland park carol morton neil mcdonald and trained by dan morton and uh, Brad Parnham aboard, and that's uh, Brad's third victory in the size. He won it a couple of years ago with Snow Dome. He won it some years back with Brava Fortune as well. And uh, today teams up with this very, very exciting th uh, two-year-old in bustling to win another size produce. So Dan Morton, it's his fourth. He's won it with Bliss Street and Camparella, Super Smink, all the fillies, and does it today with this star gilding bustling. Second placing going the way of Golden Kathleen by Leonardo da Hinci out of Hopetown, Russell Stewart, Stephen Parnham. And third, number two, big shots, a sizzling pin tupi gilding, Luke Fernie, Chris Parnham. So the interim numbers are one, nine, two, three. Battle Commander was fourth home. One, nine, two, and three. So uh, we'll get the other information, including the sectional, the hand in just a tick. Race eight today, the Amelia Park handicap over 2,200 and underway at four o'clock no changes to come there in the meantime danny's uh, down there in the yard he'd be as proud as punch after watching this youngster go about his business so effortlessly here this afternoon he's with michael heaton and uh, what a great job to win the caracatta and the size in successive years one racing after super smink did it last year danny wow uh, how good is this guy yeah he's he's very exciting that's for sure it's um you know been trying to keep a bit of a lid on it in between runs, but yeah, he's, he's very exciting. I remember uh, I was working the day that he won on debut, and you said to me after the race that you think he's a really, really good horse. What gave you that impression? Has he always been a horse that's just struck you with uh, a lot of ability from the outset? He has, um, and he's got all the right attributes too. You know, he's just a gentleman to train. He's, you know, he's a beautiful mover, 
great in the stable. Um, you know, so they're rare to you know ha have all the attributes that young. But um, yeah, he's he's been ticking all the boxes for a while. Has the phone been ringing hot over the past couple of weeks with uh, with offers for him, or is that uh, an Oakland Park issue? Oh, no, we'll deal with it as they come. But, you know, I took the phone off the hook about halfway through the week so I could concentrate on the uh, races. But, um, yeah, we'll just see what happens. But um, enjoy the win. You'd love to uh, keep him around, though, I'm sure, as a trainer. They're rare horses. You don't get that opportunity every week. But, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. So right now, Paddock uh, for him, I assume? Yeah, he'll have a break now. He's had five runs, you know, first prep. So, um, yeah, get him home and put him in Cotton Wolf. What are we expecting for the Northern Stakes tomorrow? You're well represented. Yeah, it's a very good addition of the race. Um, we got three goes at it, so we'll see where we go. All right, well done on the win here. A back-to-back -back size and Karakata, a wonderful achievement. Thank you. Danny Morton, he does it again. One of the best grand final trainers here in the West, and he has an absolute beauty in bustling, Scott. He is sensational, this horse, today. I mean, in the end, he did what he had to do. The uh, the margin there wasn't probably great for a dollar thirty pop, but he had that race wrapped up from a long, long way out. Golden Kathleen, to her credit, she looked the only danger if there was to be one, and she chased really hard into second. And Big Shots, who was second up, first up Karakata, second up Size, has run third there. So it's actually uh, a Parnham boys trifecta there. Bradley beat Stephen and Chris back in third. So that photo finish will end up on Kaz's wall, no doubt, for Christmas. And I'm sure Brad will happily buy that one from Western race picks to, to make sure that he's front and centre on the wall. One, nine, two, and three, the numbers there. Battle Commander, after leading, holds on for fourth. Brad Parnham joins us now. Bradley, I dare say that's about as easy a sit as you'll have in a $200,000 race. Uh, yeah, well, it definitely has been the easiest win in a, in a feature race, and um, yeah, probably won't get too many more like that, but uh, it's good to see him just come out and get the job done. Um, it's funny, I actually because I was in Warrnambool on Thursday, I was talking to Blake Shin about him and he said to me, he said, just mate, just treat it like a track gallop and um, get rolling from the 600 and he should do the rest. Is that exactly what you did? Pretty much. I, I would have been happy to lead, but obviously um, with Paul Jordan's horse in, he was going quick enough early, so I just sort of sat off him. But once we got to the 600, I just wanted to make sure I was cruising along comfortably and yeah, he was, he was pretty much just doing the job on his own from there. The million dollar question, or for them maybe two or three million dollar question, how much was left in the tank at the end? Quite a bit, you know, I, obviously I looked at the screen a few times, just made sure I got the job done, um, but yeah, he was doing it well within himself and there was no point really uh, testing him anymore because, um, yeah, he was doing it easy enough in himself, so uh, yeah, look, I, I don't know what's going to happen with the horse from now on, but he's a pretty good horse anyway. How was your day trip to Warrnambool? Yeah, it was pretty good, I only had one ride and managed to run second in the cup there, so um, yeah, it was well worth it. I, I'd like to go back again one day and experience the full carnival, um, but unfortunately, well, not, not unfortunately, fortunately enough, I had this ride and I couldn't get uh, too out of hand on the Thursday, so I had to get to bed early and, and get here yesterday, so, but it, it seems a real good joint and I'd like to get back there and experience it again. What's your backup ability like? Would you be able to go to the bull for the three days and just continue to back it up? Yeah, mate, I'm a star. Congratulations, well done, Bradley. Thanks. Size, produce, stakes, and the Karakata plate goes the way of bustling. One, nine, two, and three. Two more to come here from Ascot.